what's up youtube listen family it's time to get back to it guys i want to prepare you for tomorrow so we can end a week with a bang but before we do that guys please make sure you like and subscribe please make sure you help this video get at least 1,000 likes and without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it okay guys check it out the july cpi report shows inflation gauge rose 3.2 percent less than expected okay listen cpi report came out today that was really the major catalyst on top of the fitch report from last week the credit report from last week that this market has been holding stocks hostage for okay some of the key points and some of the key takeaways the consumer price index rose 3.2 percent from a year ago in july slightly below expectations the core cpi ran at a 12-month rate of 4.7 percent also below the estimate both measures were up 0.2 percent on the month almost all of the monthly inflation increases came from shelter costs which rose 0.4 percent and were up 7.7 percent from a year ago all right real wages adjusted for inflation increased 0.3 percent the mo the month were up 1.1 percent from a year ago while inflation has come well off its 40-year highs of mid-2022 it is still considerably above the 2% level where the Fed would like it to be. Listen, guys, we still got more work to do. This simply just says that it's being sticky and it's staying higher for longer, it's sticking around longer than expected. So understand what comes with the territory as it relates to that, all right? Really quick, guys, I wanna shout out Tori. I wanna say major salute. Check this out, guys. This was a home run with this tesla play way to knock this out the park way to take advantage of everything from the teachings to the guidance in the discord to the guidance in the daily videos and way to put it into action and knock one out the park and then i have one for you as well guys another it ain't even about the money i just want you guys to see the execution okay this is a 12.64 percent this was on Apple today. They keep in the stock range bound, 180 to 177. If you just play the range, you can just take it. It's just a rinse and repeat. You just do the same thing. I did this three times today, guys, just over and over. They run up to 179, they smash it back down to 177. You buy it at 177, they run it back to 179, they smash it. You just keep doing the same thing over and over, guys. It's just another day in the books do what you can to catch hold of what they're trying to do if you can spot what they're doing you can take advantage of it and then to keep the game simple you can simply run the same play over and over again which is what we call a rinse and repeat major salute to those of you that did your thing today major salute to those of you that made money whether in puts and or in calls or both and way to continue to do your thing despite the volatility in the market this week. Okay guys, I'm kicking off today's video with ExxonMobil. I talked to you guys about that I would be looking for where the sector would rotate to, okay? Tech had a run and when tech started to go down, I saw Apple get smacked, I saw Microsoft get smacked, I saw stock after stock get smacked down, and I said, okay, if Wall Street is gonna smack all the stock, that just means sell, guys, okay? Where are they taking the money from and where are they taking it to? I was looking at Exxon, which was around 105 to 107, and all of a sudden, I finally seen Exxon wake up and come to 110, okay? Check it out, guys. 111 at the high of the day around 10 o'clock. This just lets me know. I told you, this is a dividend play. But beyond that, I like to know where are they rotating to? So it was in tech on that run up. All right. And now they have took the money out of tech and they have deployed some of it to healthcare and some of it to energy. OK, Exxon is the way to play it, guys. This one is up on the week one and a half percent or a dollar and 64 percent to be exact look at this these are the levels i was talking about that said it was even lower than this 105 i just wanted to see because when sell-offs happen you have to think i told you this is a high game level of chess you have to think okay well where are they going if they're selling apple where are they taking that money to and putting it at and you want to always be keenly aware of those things 
Exxon is one I have my eye on. Major salute to those of you that have Exxon. Major salute to those of you that are staying diversified and doing the things you need to do in this market, okay? The next one I have for you guys is the SQQQ. This one is sitting at 19.5. I wanted to cover this one today. I often talk about this is what I do and this is what I use to hedge my account, okay? When tech goes down, this will go up. Really quick play for you guys, all right? Best if you play it via stocks, but again, I can't tell you what to do. Do as you please, but there may be a 20 piece on this coming, okay? A 20 handle may be in route. I don't see it going much higher than 20, dollars is what i'm talking about okay but if you, you want to ride this up from here to around twenty dollars again it's going to consistently pull back look at how volatile it is okay look at the lows of the day okay 1783 that's a level on the week i should say 1807 1834 1829 so if you can get it in on a pullback of course i would rather you guys always learn to buy low okay that is how we consistently dominate this game is because we do the work when stocks are low so 16 17 is ideal but from here the 18 dollar level up to 20 is the range i see for this i don't see much higher than 20 unless we get some other things coming into the market okay but that should be painful enough to them to stay take stocks down while this goes up all right this is one way you guys can play this it is sitting at 19 dollars at the time of this it had a tough time crossing this threshold but it finally did and look at here we are and it's holding steady up five percent on the week okay keep that in mind it is flat on the day because it closed around this level 1934 so it's knocking but remember Everything is the same. It knocked on the door. Look at this. It knocked on the door, got rejected. Remember I taught you guys about resistance levels on a stock. Touches resistance for the first time is going to get rejected three times. That is tried and true across anything. Understand that and make a killing, okay? And then the next one I got for you guys is Tesla. Ticker symbol TSLA. This one is sitting at 245 at the time it is. It is up 1% on the day. This is big for a variety of reasons. Guys, Tesla is in a make or break zone. Let me go ahead and show you this, okay? In pre-market, it was sitting at 242. I talked about 242 being support, and if we lose 242, then 240 slash 239 will then be the area that needs to hold up. Tesla said, nah, hold my beer. Tesla took off from 242 and went all the way up $10 to 251, 252 level. I love to see this but they got hit with a double top. What did I tell you happens when a double top happens? Boom, the stock will always come down or at least nine times out of 10. That's what's called a high probability trade setup. So if you spot these things, guys, shoot the shot, okay? Manage your risk if you unsure. And if in doubt, you sit it out. But it double top happened and they brought this all the way down back to 244 and then 243 held as support and from 243, we are now bouncing and we have made our way back to 245, 246. And not right now we're settling around that 245, 50 level. Okay. Listen, guys, Tesla is in a very, very key range to be mindful of. All right. 242 is support. If you lose that, you got 240. But listen. It's going to get crazy if it goes below 240, 239, because there are some deeper levels to the downside that this may want to visit. So be mindful. Give yourself some time. Make sure you guys are trading with the plan if you are in this from a trading perspective. There's a lot of money to be made. As you see, these $10 moves can be life changing. You catch one, you catch a bounce. OK, look at this bounce off support, bounce right off this line, bounce off this line again here. So you guys have to identify these things. No matter which chart I teach this to you on, you want to be able to spot these things because they are reoccurring themes within the market that happens time and time again. If you catch one, you easily knock these plays out the park, okay? And listen, if you are on the wrong side of the trade, acknowledge it, pivot, cut your loss, and make the necessary adjustments, okay? That's really what it's all about. That's part of the game as well. We won't always be right, 
However, it's no point in staying wrong, all right? So do what you need to do. Listen, these three stocks is the ones that's on my radar today. I want you guys to take full advantage of this on Friday, all right? These stocks are range bound, all right? So 242, this is your $1,000 play potentially if you guys want to take part in this, all right? You see 245, they showing you this now. Watch for if you gap up, you now know 250 is the upside. If we gap down, you know 242 is the downside. What should you do? I want you guys to leave it in the comment below. What do you do at support? What do you do at resistance, okay? Guys, if I can teach you how to fish, if I can walk you through this game, you will clearly see where the opportunities are each and every day on each and every play, all right? It is not rocket science, but it does take time and it does take work, all right? Hey, matter of fact, keep putting in the work, keep putting in the time. I guarantee, guys, it'll all be worth it in the end, all right? With that being said, guys, listen, keep up the good work. We got one more day to get in our bag and do what we do. So listen, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.